Good day, this is David Gamet from Dakota Angler and Outfitter in Rapid City, South Dakota. Today we're going to be tying the jointed pencil popper. Uh, it's a real productive surface action. We're a lot of fun for watching the smallmouth and largemouth explode on the surface. And this is actually a fairly easy tie to get some real lifelike popper. So we'll start out, and we're going to start out with a size. 2 24 25 46 size 2 Daiichi that in the vise and I'm going to use ultra thread about a either a 280 to 140 Basically, this thread is not a real crucial what size, just so that you get a thread base. Starting at the front of the hook, run to the back. Just up the barb. Cut off the excess. And then the tail part of the fly is Crystal Flash Pearl. Just grab about, well, I would say a half dozen of the crystal fibers of the crystal flash. We'll bring that thread forward. And advance it to the back. Which is pretty much even with the hook point. And go back about a hook gap back or more, but yeah, maybe about a hook shank that off. Need a thread right there. And we're going to tie in for the body for the back half is frizzle chenille. This is uh, 5 8 15 millimeter UV pearl. Real easy tie chenille, rope chenille. And just kind of work out the end here so that you got the line or the thread here to tie in. Take your thread forward behind the eye. And we're just going to palm this forward, make a wrap, pull material back, make a wrap, pull material back. Let's keep doing that until you get up to just behind the eye. That's good. Bring this material straight out, pull the thread right through the gap. off. Pull that material back out of the way and make a couple wraps and we're just going to do a whip finish here. And we're going to hit just a little bit with some zappa gap just to protect that thread. Okay, now break out kind of the rounded scissors here and we're going to make a tapered cut kind of cut the back end of this thrust the scissors right up even and make a cut towards the back of the tail so as a taper do the back of the belly just flip it over and just start rolling that in the rotary vise as you cut away a nice taper there fish style taper and we'll just cut a little bit around the base here to get it nice and tight. Careful not to cut your crystal flash off. There's you got a couple extras in there if you do cut it. And you can trim on this as much as you'd like. We have a nice taper. Cut the few extras off here. Just like that. 
This is probably the longest part of this fly is just cutting this off. That's about it. Okay, now for the front half, we're going to break out the articulated shanks. This is uh, 35 millimeter uh, from fish skulls. Just take that, pop that right in like that. Take it out of the vise and then reattach it to the back. Now, so this doesn't flop around when we're working on the front half, I'm just going to grab some medium wire just to kind of put it through here just to get this out of the way here so that I don't end up gluing that into something as I'm putting the finish on this fly. A couple of wraps. So what we have here is just to wire that back out of the way so when I turn it it doesn't flop around. Okay, and we'll take the 280, wrap that right back here to cl close that gap. the excess off. Nice and tight. We'll zap just a little bit on there. And wind that forward. Just give a good thread base so that there's something there for also the glue to adhere to. A couple wraps back. We'll finish this off. Okay, then we're going to grab the Perfect Popper Wopsy. Uh, these are white ones with a slit down the center. Like that. Just kind of pry them open here a little bit. Kind of work on that. Open that up. And pop that right over the top. And you'll see that that fits really nice and tight. There's good connection there. Make sure that you've got the inside. Just take a bodkin, kind of pull that out of there. Okay, so we're nice and centered. Then, now that I got that in there, we're going to open up and just put a little bit of this happy gap down the inside of it. Work that around. And then close that tight for a little bit here. And take off the excess. Okay, for the next part we're going to do the head here where this is colored. And what I do for that is take out your regular tape. And right where this is split. Hold that together for just a bit. I'm going to take that tape, kind of start it right at the slit, and then match this angle slope here all the way around the eye, and then start. Once you get to the top, you'll start to angle it back again. So get a nice tapered look all the way around. Next step, break out your Sharpie and just color the head. Just like that. Take that off. nice even line all the way around the head. Now we're going to take stick-on eyes. These are quarter inch stick-on eyes. Either clear cure eyes is a good item to use for that too. And we're going to stick that right on the line here. You will probably get a couple red fingers from this from touching that. Just be careful not to 
put that on the rest of the body. Okay, make sure you even up your eyes. Look down here. Back that over a little bit. Good to go. Now, for the finishing part of this, you can either use hard head with this has the hard head pearlescent green, which is fairly easy to use, or you can use the flex clear cube goo with a UV light that hardens instantly. Um, either one you choose, that'll work. We're going to use today. Now, once we use the hard head, the only thing is that you do need to kind of continuously turn this until it dries, which is pretty much give it about uh, five minutes of rotating, and then after that, leave it set so it hardens up good and, and off on its own. Shake this up to get the pearlescent moving. Kind of work off the excess and just brush that across. bit there too much to kind of work with and then just kind of feather it across the body. There we have our jointed popper, and just let that set. You can sit there and rotate that for a while so it makes a nice smooth coat. And have fun fishing those poppers, a lot of fun. Thanks again, this is David Gammert from Dakota Angler and Outfitter.